Look at that, man. He got <laughs> real estate photographers everywhere are all excited because they did some, like, Adobe After <laughs> Effects on the, s the sky there. It's a low-income beat-to-hell <laughs> property, but, hey, we got that fancy sky. Now, let me give you the real information, the uncut information, the uncensored, impolite information you need to know on this property to see if it's going to make you some money. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. This is episode 354. I am your host, James Wise. You are watching Holton Wise TV, and this is the show where I take properties like this and I go through them in an unedited, unprecedented, un... Uh, I don't know, what's the word? Un unpolite, impolite, impolite way, right? I cut it to you guys straight, okay? You guys... When, when people hire real estate agents to sell their properties, they're trying to present them in the very best possible light. Like, dude, we took this low-income house and, like, you know, somebody went through the effort to, like, edit the freaking sky, right? They, you edit the sky on this, but, dude, like, you need somebody to cut it to you straight if you're trying to invest in this. Because, guys, I mean, let's be real, right? Let's look at some of these photos. Like, yeah, it's a fancy sky, but this is this is part of the fucking house right here, right? Th th this is what it is, right? Does this make this a bad deal? No. It's a good deal. All, any deal could be a good deal if you buy it for the right price, for the right reasons, and you're the right investor. And that's what I'm here for, man. That's what I do. So if uh, you're looking, um, you know, for a polished, polite, professional, uh, suit and tie kind of guy to, uh, you know, make you feel good about yourself, uh, give you that little ego stroke and talk about sunshine and rainbows like everything's all daisies and unicorns and whatnot. Hey, man, that's cool. You're watching the wrong show. If you're serious about making money, if you're serious about making money in low-income neighborhoods, if you want somebody to cut through all the bullshit and cut it to you straight, you, my friends, are watching the right show. So make sure you subscribe to Holton Wise TV. This particular house is going to make some money. 4433 West 30th, Cleveland, Ohio. 44109. It's been on the market three weeks. It's listed at $65,000. And this is for you, Rock. We just went under contract, me and you, on another deal that's just like this one, right? 3,100 Daisy. That's one of the ones that I'm selling, guys. And when I sell properties, right, I, I do this. You can work with me two ways, right? I got two shows that I do. This show, the MLS Search and Analysis Show, this is the show where you reach out to my company, right? You go ahead, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you. We talk to you about your needs, your wants, your goals, and we come up with personalized videos for you. This is for Rock. Okay, that's one way you could buy properties from me. The second way is from the Investment Properties for Sale show. Uh, that is also on Holton Wise TV, and that's just all the properties I've been hired to sell, and you can see everything. I'm fully transparent on that show as well. We also give you video tours of the properties. We email those to you every day at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, but they're not customized to you, and it's just our inventory. It's whatever we have. So if you're like, hey, man, send me all your duplexes, or hey, send me all your singles, like, bro, I'm not going to specifically send you shit. I'm going to send you all my inventory every day at 1 o'clock. If you want something specific, what you need to do is hop on over to this show, contact my team, and order some personalized videos. Rock has done that. That's why I'm here today. And he's also purchased properties off of the Investment Properties for Sale show because some of those properties will, of course, fit your criteria. And Rock, the reason that I targeted this one for you is because it's just like the Daisy one, right? We're in the same neighborhood, same general neighborhood, right? So same level of risk. We're dealing with a D-class neighborhood right now, but it's close to Metro Health. So I see a lot of good things are cooking with that billion-dollar investment. And the property itself, this it, it, it's you know similar to the Daisy in that we have one paying tenant, and then the rest of it is just all screwed up, dude. So... I'm just going to cruise through the photos. Like, you might see this particular photo, and at first glance, you might think, oh, that unit's really not that bad. No, dude, this unit is jacked up. It, it needs a full reno, right? Like, this carpet, 
Like some of the photos make it look decent, but if if you look closely, like right here, you can see all the staining, like right there, right there. Like this carpet's got to go. Uh, you see a bunch of nicks and stuff in the walls, right? You got like vents and crap hanging off. Like we got to do a full cosmetic rehab to this particular unit. And then there's going to be a little bit more on top of that, okay? So we do the full cosmetic rehab. And then we have to address the roof, right? And I am going to budget 10 k for this roof because inside here, right, first of all, you see we have a drop ceiling, guys. And drop ceilings can sometimes be a red flag. A lot of times when you see a drop ceiling in one of these units somewhere other than the basement, it means that the roof was leaking and the seller tried to hide it. Now, this one is super easy for us because the roof was leaking so bad, it got through the regular ceiling and then it went and destroyed our drop ceiling. So it makes it very, very hard to miss, right? So not only do we have to replace the roof, I'm factoring in, because, you know, it's probably like a $7,000 roof, but I'm factoring in another couple grand, three grand rather, right? So we can, you know, address like the the plywood under the roof, address, you know, the stuff where it's all jacked up on the drop ceiling, right? So I'm budgeting at least $10,000 for that, right? Because it's not going to be just like a regular, you know, you tear the shingles off, you, you redo them type thing, right? It's going to be a bigger job, okay? So we're going to drop 30 Gs into fixing up that unit. And by the way, this is actually in the attic, the unit where you saw it all messed up. What we'd probably want to do here is just gut this out or just lock off the attic. Like, we're not going to want to allow tenants up here consider this to be living space. Not necessary, right? Cool thing is we do have a nice new furnace and stuff down here, new hot water tanks. Uh, well, mid to end of life hot water tanks, right? Newer electrical, okay? So all told, you know, pretty decent little low-income property once we put the money in. Very similar to the Daisy one, right? So... With all that, they're asking 65. I think you need to come in and pay 50, right? You pay 50, and then I want you to spend 30 on that rental, right? Seven for the roof, another three to handle some of the water issues caused by the roof. That's 10K, and then probably another 20 to totally get that unit ready to go. We're talking ripping out that old shitty ass carpet, you know, refinishing the hardwoods under there, patching holes, you know, making it look beautiful, kitchen looking beautiful, bath looking beautiful. We should be able to do all that for 30K. Meaning, Rock, you're going to be all into this thing for 80k as far as the rents they're going to be generating 750 a month each of these units is a 750 dollars unit that's 1500 a month 18,000 a year now just like on the daisy one you're buying for me the down unit here it's already rented now that is a 750 dollars unit just so you know the current tenant is paying six over the long haul, I anticipate you getting 750 for that unit you're not going to get it right away though because it's not a good idea to go in there buy it and be like yo bro you rent 750 now. You don't want to do that cuz the tenants probably going to get pissed and move out, right? Hey lenders, are you looking for more clients? If so, send us an email at sales@holtonwise.com. You don't want to have to redo that unit. We want to slowly work that tenant up, right? Slowly get them up to market rep, but I want to give you an example of what this should produce for you for the long haul, right? So over the long haul, 15 comes in. I anticipate you spending an average of 739 a month, giving you an average NOI of 761 a month or just over 9K for the year. You'd be all into it for 80K. It's an 11.4 cap. When we do all those repairs, go to the bank, get it to appraise. I anticipate an appraised value of 90,000, meaning they'd loan you back 67 and a half of your original 80, meaning you only had 12 and a half into the deal, after you pay off your mortgage rock, that would amount to a 45.8% cash on cash return, which I think we could both agree is a hell of a good deal. And it fits in line with the criteria. It fits in line with the Daisy property you're trying to buy for me. So I wanted to bring this to your attention. And I thought it would be a perfect move for you. So if you'd like to purchase this property, brother, just reply to this private email. Let my team know. We'll put in that offer. We'll help you coordinate your inspection. All the things we're doing for you on the Daisy property. Everybody else, you want to work with me and my team like Rock is doing, send us an email at sales at HoltonWise.com. Include your phone number, and we will help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.